everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we'll be going over the pronator teres muscle. I'll be going over its origin and insertion, followed by its function, and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So let's start off the location and then we'll build on from there. So the origin or the starting point of the pronator teres muscle is on the distal part, which is the furthest part away from your body of the medial condyloid ridge. Now it's pretty much just a line of the humerus, may I add. Uh, now that's pretty much just a line that runs up the side of the uh, humerus here. So the distal part is further down, okay, proximal distal. So whenever we talk about distal, it's the furthest point away from the body, okay. So it's on the medial portion, meaning it's closest to the middle part of your body. Okay, so it's on the distal portion of the medial condyloid ridge of the humerus. Okay, and it also originates or starts on the medial part of the proximal ulna. Okay, and that is the bone pretty much just below here with the palm facing out. Okay, so it pretty much originates or starts in two spots here, crossing that elbow joint. Okay. And then it inserts onto the middle third of the lateral portion of the radius bone, okay? So that's the bone just to the other side of your ulna, okay? So again, it originates or starts right in here, okay? And then wraps right around to the medial third of that radius bone. Okay, and again, that's right in here, right here, I guess <laughs> you can see. So again, it wraps right, right like that, okay? So the function of the pronator teres muscle, since now we know the location of it, is to do just as pretty much the name of it says, okay, pronates the forearm, okay? Now it does that best when the arm is straight, okay? When it's in a flex position, it's a lot weaker, okay? Now it does assist uh, with the flexion of the elbow, but however, it is a weak elbow flexor, meaning it is not real strong in that function, okay? So if you were to curl up, okay, you're working that pronator teres muscle, okay, because you're keeping it from rolling out, okay, you're keeping that weight steady. However, it is a weak elbow flexor. It is strongest when the arm is straight and you are pronating the forearm, okay. So which brings us to our exercises, okay. For the exercise for this muscle, since it is kind of like a small muscle, and it has one main function that it does very well, which is pronation of the forearm, okay, is to work the muscle in that way, okay. So if you were to take a weight and hold it palm side up and pronate your forearm, that would be the exercise. I will provide an example for you with the weight. You could also do this with a weight that's more one-sided than the other, it would be best if uh, the most of the weight was on the side of the pinky and then you can work pronating that up against gravity okay so I'm going to go ahead and insert the video for the exercise but first I'm going to go ahead and insert the photo so you know exactly where I'm talking about okay and then we'll move on to the exercise video portion okay so stay tuned right here and you will be able to view that okay everybody I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button share it with a friend that may benefit from it Please stay tuned 
for the next week's video. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be going over yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll be similar to this one, only a little bit different. So, I will see you guys all next week. See you later.